Hi, Tim Ralston here. I wanted to talk to you guys about the new Kroval Tactical. And you're also getting a sneak preview of the new um, cover that we've uh, come up with. It has Molly um, holding capability, so you'll be able to put it right attached to your pack. Check that out. Not going anywhere. It has two quick release snaps to unveil Kroval Tactical. Everyone's asking, I need it lighter, I need it lighter, which we did, two and a half pounds lighter. I want it stronger, I want it stronger. I mean, we listened to what you guys are saying. So, the same thing the Nax is made out of, the 4140 hardened chromoly steel is now what the head is made out of. This thing, I tell you, you can get this thing razor sharp. It comes sharp, it's up to you to put the razor edge on it. I don't wanna have any liabilities out there because this thing is lethal. You'll notice we got rid of the neural nut up here, but this is a whole two inch solid steel coupling up here at the top that will then seed into the solid or the uh, hollow handle, which makes this really solid up here at the top. It's welded on the top side and on the bottom side. Still has your serrated saw edge, bottle opener, of course. It wouldn't be a Kroval without a bottle opener, would it? And of course the pat or the uh, um, trademarked paracord grip and the new reversible spike. Now this is the prototype spike. It's a little too sharp for most everybody, but the other one is just a little fatter, but it is still lethal. But the cool thing is when you don't need the spikes, when the zombies aren't there, you flip it, put it in. Now you have something that's not going to impale you and you can still use it for digging. But let's go chop something. Let's go knock something out with this thing. Now weighing just two and a half pounds, this thing is light enough to really get some momentum, but it still has a, a force multiplier. Two pounds of steel, come on, that's a lot better than a machete. Uh, this wood is kind of dead, kind of. It's still kind of solid underneath. Smells good. Just check out that. It's dead on the top, but in the middle, it's still solid wood. Check out the edge. Not a, not a thing. All right, so I'm gonna go over a couple of the features, which was one, the super spike. Now the super spike really was um, the brainchild of some special forces guys, because they were, running into insurgents bad guys cars and they wanted to disable them so it, they basically sharpened their spike down to something that looked like this then simply there's the tire then it's really easy goes right in we'll pop the tire i can't imagine if that were someone's thigh or something hang on a second jesus Ugh. all right snap it oh. holy crap wow that went in. <laughs> That's not Hollywood there, baby. That just, I can't imagine that going in. Pretty cool stuff. Now, if you're gonna be wanting to chip out, you know, say firewood or something else, I don't recommend the Super Spike. Um, I would recommend the, uh, the actual Z Spike because it's a bit thicker, but zombies, dude, this is the one. A, a skull cracker for sure. Look at that. So, not only, guys, do you have a powerful digger, you know, this thing does a number. It's also an axe. This ain't no spets and a shovel either. This handle is not going to break ever on you. These aren't going to break. This will save your life. When you need it, it's there for you. One way or another. Cool too, as a tactical, it's a fighter. So each one of these corners is meant to redirect your opponent 
or impale that pony. That's on the corner, okay? Imagine that going into a shoulder bone on the head, just the corner of it, okay? Not including the edge, right? So you kind of get the picture of what it can do. Pretty cool. Let's throw it. I don't know. Maybe I can stick it. All right, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I am definitely not an axe thrower. We have some videos from one of our viewers that hits it every time. These guys are incredible. They practice a lot more than I do. I tend to want to hold on to the Kurovo. I think it's a little more deadly. But if you had to throw it, I don't recommend it. I like to hang on to my implement that's going to save my life. But if you had to throw it, it is weighted in such a way that it should, in theory, stick. Now, we'll see what it'll do in that pine. But I'm going to try it one-handed, then we'll try a two-handed throw, right? So here we go. One-handed. I think that would hurt. That's intense. Look at that baby. Here we go. Zombies attack on two. Here we go. Gotta hurt. <laughs> you just gotta throw it. Throw it hard. <clears throat> the crowbar does the rest. Ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs>